Even a cool cat like Christopher Nolan can cough up a furball. And with the sci-fi adventure Interstellar, it's blockbuster sized. For the first time in a stellar filmmaking career that includes Memento, Inception, and the Batman trilogy, one of Nolan's grand ideas has failed to achieve liftoff. Unlike the spacecraft that Matthew McConaughey pilots into the cosmos on a survival quest for a dying Earth. This world's a treasure. It's been telling us to leave for a while now. McConaughey's Cooper, a Midwest farmer and test pilot, has the misfortune of being caught not only in the vortex of time, space, gravity, and love of the film's multiple dimensions, but also the dizzy inanity of a screenplay that whiplashes between John Steinbeck and Stanley Kubrick. One minute the film is like Steinbeck's The Grapes of Wrath, with global warming and a pernicious crop blight having turned the entire world into 1930s Dust Bowl America. The next, it's trying to outdo Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey, heading beyond the infinite on a perilous mission of discovery in search of a replacement planet for Earth. You have to applaud the film's respect for the audience's intelligence. It boldly goes with the assumption that dramatizing Einstein's theory of relativity makes for more gripping blockbuster entertainment than, say, watching two of Michael Bay's Transformers robots beat the heck out of each other. Regrettably, brain doesn't beat brawn here, although the eye is frequently treated. There are moments of sheer visual poetry in Interstellar, such as when Cooper's spacecraft passes through the rings of Saturn, or when a giant wave on a newly found water planet threatens to engulf our heroes, who also include Anne Hathaway's brittle scientist Amelia Brand. Interstellar groans from the weight of plot inconsistencies, which are worse than usual for Nolan. The corn grows as high as an elephant's eye, both on Cooper's farm and in the script, which includes a melodramatic subplot about absentee daddy issues where Jessica Chastain and Casey Affleck play Coop's grown-up children. Most troubling of all is the film's ingrained sexism. All of the female characters are emotional and erratic, often failing to demonstrate the proverbial right stuff that McConaughey exudes as easily as he draws. Interstellar takes us decades into the future and through a wormhole of infinite exploration, but when it comes to Hollywood's treatment of women, it's just like old times down here on planet Earth. For the Star.com, I'm Peter Howell.